Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. Let's get cracking with the show. We do have uh, a big Arsenal fan, yeah. big Man City fan, two very opinionated guests, and of course, huge fixture live on Sky Sports tomorrow. I cannot wait for this. So we thought, what better to do than the classic Saturday social combined 11 yeah. with the whiteboard? We love this feature. We do we? love this. We absolutely we? love this feature. This one, I'm sure, <coughs> is going to get very heated. Each guest has come up with their own 11, of course. It's in front mm. of them in magnet form. We're going to go position by position, debate it out, and try and build out the ultimate combined 11. Now, important to note here, there's lots of injuries. Yeah. There's lots of suspensions at the moment in both these teams. We wanted to include the likes of Rodri and KDB. Potentially, Bukayo Saka could be injured as well. So this is just the best 11 Ooh, possible like from the two squads. Presuming that everyone's fit. Everybody's fit. Yeah. This is a utopia of football Ooh, here. Okay. Everybody's fit. We're going to build out position by position. Any disagreement, me and Smith will decide based on the best argument. Yes. So, goalkeeper. First up, Bouvi. Wow, he's, he, he went Straight very in. quickly to his magnets. No messing around. Let's have a look to the camera. Who you gone with you? <coughs> Edison. Beautiful. Uh, he's one of the best keepers City have ever had. His distribution is the best in the world. There is an argument. I'm not going to sit here and say the Allisons of the world, the Noyes of the world for years ago in terms of shot stopping. Is he there yet? But he made a massive save in the Champions League final. His level is absolutely huge. Uh, I don't know. I, Arsenal, I, I think for me it would be rare if I had to pick an Arsenal keeper, but neither lace Edison's boots. Robbie, have you gone with Edison? Have you gone with Raya? Did well, you say uh, you've well, gone funny with enough, Ramsdale? I haven't. I've gone with uh, Ramsdale, right? Um, Raya... He's, he's been brilliant um, since he's come in, by the way, and we've got two unbelievable goalkeepers at the moment. But I'm going for Ramsdale. If you actually look at last season, when they did the team of the year, who was in goal? Who won the league? Who was in goal? No, I know he won the league. Who flapped yeah, against he have a lot to do, Southampton? Did he? No, hold on, flapped wait, against wait. Southampton, flapped against Brighton. Against so, Fulham, he made a mistake so, this season. When they done the team of the year, which is assessed by a whole host of experts, yeah. They went with Ramsdale. They didn't go with Edison. Experts. He didn't have much Experts. to do. Lads, what would you rather win the treble? He didn't have much to do, did he? Would you, know, rather, you rather win the treble? 7 0 in games. Or be in a comp Hold on, wait, one second. Eleven. You win 7 0 in a game. What you got to do? I could be in goal. 7 0. I could be in goal, bro. His keeper right? is unbelievable. You can't say he's not. He's a better keeper the than The team Ramsdale. of the year Aaron Ramsdale oh. was in. He's a great goalkeeper. He should be England's number one goalkeeper as well. Oh, BA. Right? What do you think, Robbie, about the Raya versus Ramsdale mm. situation? I feel, I feel a bit gutted for Ramsdale. Listen, Raya has come in. He hasn't done anything wrong. He's He's been really... Well, he did make a little error the other day in the Champions League game, but he's been really, really good, right? But I do feel a little bit for Ramsdale because he has never let us down. He's been excellent for... And as I said, last year, he had an unbelievable season. So he's a bit unfortunate that we got... So you would two, be starting Ramsdale this week? starting Ramsdale. I don't... The problem... The, the, sorry, no, it's not even a problem. My, my feelings on it at the moment is that if I turn up to a game, whoever's starting, I'm cool with it. Is it a, you said the word problem there then mm. changed. A lot of people have been very vocal about the fact that Arsenal have two so-called number ones keeping them happy. Is that, a, in, in your own words there, a problem long-term for Arsenal? It could be because, you know I mean, you've got two very, very good goalkeepers and they're going to want to start. So it could be an issue later on. But at the moment, they look pretty harmonious with it. But... Player, he was in the team of the year last season. He won a treble, Rob. Yeah, but why weren't Come he in the team? On. He had nothing Take to the do. Arsenal cap you off. could have been in goal. <laughs> He's won a treble. He's got no Arsenal cap. You can't, you can't say it. What, so it doesn't matter that you won a treble. I could have been so, in goal for the 99 so so, United winners. The so, treble winners. All right, so you, Michael, you, a you won the treble last year. Lawyers won a treble. Hold on, so you won, hold on, you won a treble last year. That means that every other player was in every position, no. was behind there the players in your the team. Side. There was probably weakness at left-back. We could debate right? that maybe up front. Oh, but, no, but no, with, with Edison, no. He, was, he, was he had nothing incredible. to do last year. You know what I mean? He's, He's won golden just, gloves. Ramsdale's you know I mean? the best keeper at your club. Right. All right, we're going to make a decision It's because we've got two brilliant keepers. You ain't. They're not brilliant. They're average at best. No, no, they're two top keepers, mate. <laughs> All right, we're keeper gonna, is not brilliant. We're going to have to go already. We're going to have to make a decision. We are going to have to make a decision. I think just because of the... Torn nature between Ramsdale and Raya, we yeah. should go with, with Edison. OK, Boovy on the board, Edison. And obviously, uh, positioning fantastic in the middle. goalkeeper, yeah. but that'll okay. do, that'll do. Happy All right, right-backs. Any disagreement at right-back slot? I've, I've gone for Walker. Wow. Just, just. I, I think um, ability-wise... It's got to be Walker, isn't it? Right. right-back. Well, hold on, I think ability... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ability-wise, all round, I think um, Ben White... You know, but just because he's been doing it consistently over a longer period of time, yeah. you know, um, sometimes going forward, I don't think he's as good. You know what I mean? It's a bit like having Usain Bolt playing as your right back. You know, he's really quick. He can, re re you know, his recovery stuff is brilliant. But I would have him. I, to be fair. Fair point. Ben White had a, had a good a season in his last season and was very, very consistent. Season. He's very versatile as well. But you're going with Carl Walker. I have Jersey. to, yeah, because he's done it over a long period of yeah, time. Okay. He's good. He's, he's excellent defender. Should we stick him on then? Yeah, no that's... real debate there, is there? 
And I don't centre like putting Tottenham though. players, ex Tottenham players, up there. But centre backs, with. there is debate. Yeah. So, so should we do the two that yeah, you've got? So we can look at the pair, pair that you've got. Um, Stones and Diaz. Okay. So obvious. Boovy's got Stones and Diaz. Obvious one for you. This. You've gone Saliba and Diaz. So Boovy, let's come to you first. Yeah. Obviously, the one is Saliba and Stones. Is Saliba an excellent, borderline world class centre back? Yes. Has he got a massive ceiling? Is he younger than Stones? Yeah. Of course he is. We're talking about John Stones doing this now for five, six years. He's just won a treble. He's done it for he's won... five, six years. Yeah, he, he joined in 2016. Yeah, and he could hardly get a game. He, got, he was part of the defence of hardly Centurions. Get a game. No, no, and then he started a lot. He's got a few injury problems, but when he did start, your boy isn't playing against Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, into Milan, popping into midfield, by the way, still playing as a centre back and dominating games in the highest level of football. Saliba's not done that yet. Will he do it? You might need to move to Man City to do that. You're not best, the best young um, centre back in world football now, in my opinion. He's absolutely brilliant. You, I, I feel that if we would have had him in some of those key games towards the end of last season, in particular like the Man City game and that, right, that could have made a huge difference. He is definitely in there for me. John Stones, I do rate. Took John Stones a while to get going. Stop trying to... Um, so did Saliba, he's on loan in France. Stop trying to gloss over that. Your boy's on loan in France. No, but once he came in, he was on point. John Stones he's came been on in, point he had one year. He's he, won a, he got 100 points within a year of joining City. No, but he didn't, he won the league. He didn't, he didn't do much in that. Cup, he didn't yeah? do much. He didn't get many starts in that. Saliba needs to win the league cup. He was like a sort of Calvin Phillips at the start, wasn't he? He was like a Calvin Phillips John Stones won player. four league cups. Your boy yeah. needs to win one Saliba's league cup Saliba's got to be in there, man. Come on. Robbie is right about the Saliba point with him without him, actually. Arsenal conceded 0.9 goals per game in his 34 Premier League career starts, but 1.6 goals per game with that. And there's a big difference with Arsenal when he is he's playing phenomenal. when he's not. An amazing player. But then uh, Boovey makes a great point about John Stones. Passing accuracy, uh, absolutely incredible. 93.25% passing accuracy. Off the Swiftie's turn. The there. stats for both of them are incredible, I have to say. Should we put Ruben Diaz on? So Ruben Diaz is nailed, nailed on. on. I have to just comment, you know, since he's joined City... Best defender in... in... The world right now? He's the best centre-back in European football. Where are we placing these magnets? No, I've, I've left the space there for the, for the right centre-back. OK. So the left-back there okay, and the midfield there. I think there's been two good arguments put forward for both of those, but I yeah. do think... <sighs> I think we've got to get some Arsenal players on there somehow. So I think no, Saliba... It's not about getting... Yo, think, don't, no, it's a charity. It's a charity. It's, 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 it's like Robbie Lowe it's Charity it's Foundation. It's got to be in there. It's not a sympathy vote. Yeah, but it's very close It is for me. I have to say, this is a very, very close one. Joe has spoken. William Saliba, Saliba's on the board. I think we need to sort the placement out, Robbie. I mean, this back line is... Yeah, I don't know where he's... Back line there. Let us know what you think at home about... Yeah, Edison needs to shift a bit, I think. Well, we can worry about that later, can't we? It's not a big issue. Let's go to left back. That's better. Well, this is obvious for me. I mean, Nathan Ake is starting Champions League finals. I love Zinchenko for what he did at City. But oh, this season, though. So... No, and Wait, Gvard... your rival of Guardiola. Guardiola's been incredible, but, exactly. but both are, are ad hoc left backs. He... Zinchenko... Ad hoc? Yeah, they are, because he's a centre back who's playing left back. Your boy's a midfielder. He wants to be a midfielder. He's not quite good enough to be a midfielder for Arsenal. That's fair. That's why you shove him at left back. No, no, Defensively, no, no, Culpable no, no, in the Champions League no. final for City against Chelsea. That's, that, that just happened. Ake was. Absolutely, kept a clean sheet in the Champions League final. Why is he not? Why is he not playing that position now? Then? So he is. Great. He's playing a lot. He's rotating. Ad hoc. Radio. Like you said, Arteta it's not ad hoc. Or two about the squad inverted. rotation. He plays as an inverted yeah. left back. It's not ad hoc. Ar Your guy's ad hoc, right? Yeah. Your guy's ad hoc. Arteta right? Every now and again. Radio about squad rotation. Yeah, Nathan, you can get in it. You can play the Carabao Cup game. You're in, <laughs> right? Zinchenko, man. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> definitely in there. Used to play for you lot as well, right? And was excellent for you. One. Right, and he's come and he's been brilliant for us as well. And playing in that inverted left back role, probably one of the best around. Who's better defensively as a left right? back? Who's better? Be honest. Who's yeah, better defensively. Pro probably um, Ake because yeah, Ake, Ake, Ake's a centre back. Clean sheets, lads. I know Arsenal Ake is a centre back playing as a left back. I want to keep a clean sheet. He's role. a centre back playing as a left back. Yeah, yeah? exactly. So he's, that's he's, what you lot do. You just load up all these centre backs at the back. <laughs> Right? Yeah, it's not our fault we don't have Rob Holding. Do you know what I mean? So, look, Nathan Ake, What's you're, you're, Rob here, to, got to you're here to it? keep a clean right? sheet. We're here to be defensively right. sound. We want to be defensively sound. He is defensively sound. Lovely guy, Rob Holding, by the way, I will say. <laughs> He's, He's a not, great not. guy, Rob Holding. Go on. So, you're going Zinchenko. Zinchenko, 100%. Ake, I feel there's a theme with this. There's not a lot of agreement mm. going on. Uh, you're cool with this one. Yeah, do we go? Do you know what? I think this is a very tough one, Ake. I think you make a good point on the ball. I think Zinchenko maybe just edges it. Uh, and we're, we're trying to create a balanced team here. So, Robbie, we'll give you that one. We're yeah. being very honest. Up, very first. tight one. Uh, but we'll go with Zinchenko. Let's go on to Ooh. DM then. Tough. I think you've got an agreement with here. You've gone Rodri. And I think, Robbie, have you gone Rodri as well? <clears throat> Yeah, I appreciate that. In this team, I it? think we have to just say Rodri is the best of his generation, the last five, six years of defensive midfielders. 
And now he's got that goal in the Champions League final, scored an incredible yeah. goal against Bayern Munich on his left foot uh, from 25 yards out. He's got the kind of the Steven Gerrard now lineage of Champions League final performances. And then the Premier League as well. He's won, what, three Premier League titles? He's incredible. Do you think he's... I like Man City's most important player. I know Haaland with his goals, but I feel like the whole team is built around Rodri, really. Yeah. If Rodri starts against Arsenal uh, on Sunday, I think we beat them 3-0, honestly. There's a debate now because he's not starting. I think we could get away without Haaland. I, know, I love Haaland. Disagree, Robbie. <laughs> no, the excuses are getting... <laughs> <laughs> I see it lining up already. So I still if, think we if, beat them, by the way. If, if, if they lose now, oh, Rodri weren't playing, right? Remember last year when we, when we played you, there was no Saliba. We played you, there was no Thomas Partey. We weren't, moan, you know, we weren't going like that. What about the FA Cup? You like right? that as well? We weren't moaning about that, though. You guys, I keep seeing you, like, if Rodri, if Rodri. <laughs> it's one player. Yeah, right, well, he's, he's generational. Stick him on, then. Stick he's him on. There. Let's go to um, the next midfielder. Who, who are we both putting forward here? It's got to be Declan Rice has got to be in there. As I say, Rice, Rice, Ooh. baby, man. Oh, you've both yeah, agreed? Yeah, yeah. OK. For Absolute me, it's le left-hand side here sort of thing. where that I think that's where he should be playing for Arsenal, by the way. I'd put Partey there for Arsenal and have him in that Xhaka role. I think Rice can do that. I think he can score more goals for Arsenal. I know there's been injuries to Partey, I'm not saying that. But if he gets a bit more forward, a bit like Bellingham with Real Madrid, I think he's got that ability to score goals. No, it's the first time he said something like that. Do you know what I've got to say, actually? But Booby's very <laughs> critical of, of Arsenal and rival teams. But Declan Rice, I've seen uh, throughout the last few months, he's one player that you're, you are very, very strong on uh, in a positive way. You're a massive fan of Declan yeah. Rice. I, I think he, he applies himself the right way. He can defend brilliantly. He can go forward. He never loses the ball. He's mm. a leader, through example. He's already grown in stature. The way he carries himself for Arsenal, I think he's honestly improved Arsenal already. Yeah, no, listen, um, I actually agree with him. You know what I mean? That's why they tried to buy him. Oh. He, has he, has he, has he <laughs> he's happy with his own joke there. Really? He's still laughing. He's still laughing. Has he no, it's not, it's not a joke, it's facts. They tried yeah. to buy him, didn't they? Has Did he they know? Than you thought, Robs? He has been better than I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's absolute quality. He's everywhere. Mm. He's everywhere. He really has been um, a great signing for us. He really has. Um, and I think he's only going to get better as well. So, but... Boovey's right. I want to see him amp... We've not seen those two play together in midfield yet, and I would love to see that against City, especially with Rodri being out. Okay. Boovey's right, said Robbie, on a command... I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Pick that up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> next player, I, I'm, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I'm guessing you've got Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, he absolutely yeah. destroyed Arsenal last season in uh, home and away wins. Obviously, we got a double over you last season in the league. <laughs> so, um, and obviously, the goal at the Emirates, that was Ram you know, Ramsdale's fault as well. So... Beautiful goal for, for De Bruyne in that game. Uh, goal against Arsenal at the Etihad as well. That finish was unbelievable. This guy is, he's Gerrard, he's Roy Keane, he's Vieira level of midfielder in the hey, Premier steady League. Steady on now. Steady. Well, he's at that level. Where does he rank in terms of the greatest ever Premier League midfielders for you? He's the best. He's, he's a better passer than Paul Scholes. Yeah. He's, he's got a better whip on him than David Beckham. Oi, 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 he's got oi, a record that's on. comparable down. to it. He's got more Premier League titles than Vieira. He loves Paul Didn't go invincible though, did he? Right, you've got 100 points. Uh, I, I mean, he, he's he's he is excellent. How close is Erdegaard to his level, though? He's getting there. He's not he's not to that level yet. No, I'm not saying he's not. Obviously, in terms of stature and like history, he's not. Mm. But so in terms of KDB right now, with his his injuries and his yeah. like problems of being able to stay fit and maintain his fitness, he's getting there. Erdegaard is getting there. Erdegaard 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 near that level. Nowhere yet. near. De Bruyne's De Bruyne's in. You know, he's starting champ. He's played two Champions League finals. Yeah. He's a generation. I'm not talking about talent. historically. I'm talking about this season right now with the injury but problems. He's injured, and he, he sat there at home pretty watching the show, thinking, "What what are these lads on about?" I mean, he scored four against Wolves, a weak foot hat trick in a Premier League title decider uh, a year ago. You know, Odegaard's not had that level yet. Maybe Od Odegaard was a top season. goal scoring midfielder in the Premier League last season. For goals that didn't mean anything, right? Second last season. Well, well we were going for a title. Yeah, you right? lost it after 200. Right, so you don't say they didn't mean anything. <laughs> You, you can't say they didn't mean anything, you know what I mean? Say, it, meant, right? it meant lots of you as an Arsenal fan. Odegaard, in the grand scheme Odegaard of the, the is a top-quality midfielder. He's on his way up there. I mean, Not he's on his way up there. It's only his second season. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's it's only his second season, right? He's a brilliant, brilliant He's midfielder. the apprentice to De Bruyne, but he's the apprentice at the well, moment. Well, I wouldn't say apprentice. He's, he's coming for him. Yeah, of course, yeah. Can he get to De Bruyne's level? For you? I think he can, yeah. I think he definitely can, as, as I said. One of the best midfielders the Premier League's ever seen, you think? Who, Odegaard? He's yeah, still can he get young. up to there? Because that's what KDB young. is, isn't it? KDB's, what, 32? Odegaard yeah. is 24. Yeah. Of course he can get to that level. If he keeps doing what he's doing consistently, but at the moment, it's De Bruyne, I, I admit. All right. Okay. Right wing. <laughs> this is obvious. Who've you got it? This is obvious. Bernardo. Saka, you've okay. gone with, and you've gone with Bernardo Silva. Robbie, you are laughing at Booby's choice. Bernardo Silva's Why? a great player, but it's Saka. 
Bernardo Silva doesn't even always play on the right-hand side for you. He floats around and plays in many different positions, mm. right? This is you trying to get someone in there because you know it's definitely Saka. It's not definitely Saka. It's definitely Saka, it's, right? You can have a, at at, at yeah. Premier League level, brilliant. Even when he plays internationally. Yeah, what look about at the, the impact. He's only look at the, games in the Champions yeah, League. He's only just started playing in the Champions League. Matters in a, but internationally, he's, he's got, he, he helped drive England to um, a semi-final, right? A semi-final in the World Cup. And a Quarter, final, quarterfinal. right? A, 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 and a final, a quarterfinal, quarterfinal, and a final in the Euros, right? And he's a, was a significant player, right? Yeah. He's one of the best young he is. players in the world. Yeah. But if we, Bernardo Silva doesn't even play consistently no, as a right winger. Yeah. When he does, he starts when he in the does. Champions League final. See? He got an assist in the Champions when League final. When he does again, I think I think the big debate about City Arsenal is that Arsenal are the, one of the youngest squads in the league. Saka's ceiling is beyond belief. He's he's a world class player. I love Saka. But Bernardo Silva is far more... He's, he's along in his progress. He's starting Champions League finals. Asking, he's already played two Champions League finals. Saka's played right. two games in the Champions League. He lost one to Lons. Lons. How many, finals, how many finals has he played in? How, how, he, when I was, no, no. A few months ago. No, no. How many... In the Champions League finals. No, how many example. Euro... Like a Euro final. He's playing that. He's I don't not played that. Saka, you know, right, that's just so... He didn't win that game either. To be fair, Bernardo Silva, I think, was part of that Portugal squad, wasn't he? That, you know... Did well. On the Euros. Listen, part of... This guy was, like, one of the main men. He's one of England's main men now. Him and Bellingham. Yeah, I have they're, to say, I think Saka. Come I, I would also say, a good point, I can't but, yeah, it has to be Saka. In, in his position, oh. Saka is one of the best. Not even waiting like, on the decision. In, in his <laughs> position. <laughs> uh, left wing, because <laughs> I think stri right. striker has got to be in agreement, right? It has to be Haaland. Surely just, you're both saying Haaland. I'll put it there for now. Yeah. Make it easy. OK, so yeah. let's have the debate at left wing. <sighs> I mean... Martinelli for Robbie. <laughs> Martinelli. Grealish for Boovey. It's a, it's a difference of opinions of what you want as a footballer. I, lo I love his goals. His numbers are better than Grealish's. More better goals. pace. But Grealish is can a go outside, kind of player. Can come no, yeah, but he's there to retain possession, get pressure on the opposition, lay it off to De Bruyne, lay it off to Ilkay Gundogan off. last season. Yeah, but loads of players do lay that. Loads off. of great players give to other people and, and enable other people. Grealish was doing this for Harry Kane in the Euros when we got to the final. You mentioned that for Saka. So Grealish... Yeah, lay it off. Grealish was the number one uh, name on the team Hoiberg sheet. there, you know what I mean? Yeah, but honestly... Right, if he's there to lay it off, a right? Fan, the first name on the team sheet for any City fan going into the, you know, going into the Bayern Munich game, the Real Madrid game, it was Grealish. He was in such good form last season. Your first name on the team sheet? He was. So how comes you, um, you've been playing... His form was amazing, Rob. Hold on, you, you brought in that guy... Um, Doku. Yeah. He's been keeping Grealish out of the team. Yeah, well, Saliba had a great... No, you just said the first thing. You just said everyone, the first... Everyone improves... Hold on. The, no, no, Timber's not, Timber positions. was not playing in his position. Yeah, but you improve positions. A great side, maybe Arteta could learn... Well, he's he's so it. great, the, the guy Doku's coming. We signed coming. Harlan, we signed you, you, ma you, made the, you made that argument when I was talking about Ramsdale earlier, right? Yeah. He's, saying, he's so great that he can't get in the team now. He starts big games. <laughs> he starts big so games. will Grealish start on Sunday... Or I Arsenal. think Grealish or starts you think? all day long. Oh, you think now? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, of course I think. <laughs> of if course he's I think fit, probably, possibly. If he's fit, he starts, right? Every Either game, of you look to concede this one or, or are you standing firm? I'm standing I, just think, firm. I, I think it matters. And if we were doing this show 15, 20 years ago, there wouldn't be a single City player that I could justifiably put in because you were winning league titles 20 years ago. Yep. At the moment, City are the best side in Europe. And we can't have more... What, we get close to more Arsenal players than City players. You came second last season. You don't want a what league title in 20 years. Second? Right? It's, it's a, it's, yeah, but that's what a mark of... It's what close. <laughs> It's close. You, you did win a trophy. In a lot of positions, this, this yeah. is the reality of it. You won the you, community shield. You, you, you can't accept it. The reality of it is... You had a dog in your team photo. The reality <laughs> of it is you're close. Well, you, you know, as I said to you the other day, you're going to hear... The bailiff's coming. Oh, here we go. We need a decision. <laughs> when the bailiff's not turning put, up for those trophies. I did the last one. Did this one. I love how you put the pressure straight on me. Um, Movie's looking at you the very... Martin Ellie, man. Is Jack. OK, Jack Grealish makes Jack, it. So you, there is confirmation of the combined 11 that I'd like to say uh, Robbie and Booby agreed on, but I don't think they agreed on a single player, tough, really. Tough. Uh, not that they agreed on a few, but I think there are a few standout positions for the guys at home to get... Yeah, let us know what you think at home. 